All right. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd, and we're going to live solve The New Yorker. Uh, it's the moderately challenging puzzle. So um, it can be kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes it's pretty tough and sometimes it's a, a cakewalk, but we'll see what we've got today. Um, some of you guys are watching these videos, so I'll continue to post them. Haven't gotten a lot of comments or feedback, but uh, as long as you're watching them all, I'll, I'll continue to put them out there and Hopefully I'll get a little better at the at this part of it, the navigating of the thing. The New York Times is a little easier because I can download the puzzle and there's no ads. I apologize for these ads on uh, the LA Times especially. But what are you going to do? So here we go. Wednesday, September 23rd by Amy Lucido. Let's see what we got. Since, like because of or as of or, you know. Could be a lot of things there. They're represented by ampersands. Um, so that's going to be ands. Um, and actually, I was, in, I was listening to uh, Fill Me In podcast, which is a crossword themed podcast. Um, and they were wondering aloud if and was an abbreviation for ampersand. Um, I don't think it is, but it's a nice thought. Uh, since, so I'm going to say this is probably as of, right? Uh, and jumps as a CD would be skips, which is feels pretty old. Um, although we already have an N and a K here, which seems like something's one of these must be wrong, right? Uh, since as of is uh, a, a love train group with the is going to be OJ's. Oops. And as of. Something's definitely pretty funny over here. I don't know what's going on, but um, uh, so New York Stock Exchange neighborhood is like Wall Street. Um, experts are pros. First author to win a Hugo Award for every book in a trilogy. Hmm. I mean, I, I'm not really sure what a Hugo Award is. Um, it kind of looks like it, if I had a couple of wrongs in here, it could be like J.K. Rowling. Um, but I'm going to need to hold off on that. Uh, quick proficient is adept, I believe. Let's see if this works. Summer hours in San Francisco, Pacific Daylight Time, that works. It's always nice to just confirm the cross like that, um, you know, before you get committed to this word adept. It's like, well, there's something funny here, P and D. You know, I should be able to tell pretty quickly. This could be um, PDA or PDF. Um, so there are some options there, but it's, it's worth doing just a quick cross check just to make sure that you're on the right track there. <clears throat> Supreme talent. Oh, okay. So this is, I like this one. This is Diana Ross and the Supremes. Although was Diana Ross a Supreme or was she the leader of the Supremes? Like, I don't, I don't know that she, I feel like she was backed by the Supremes, but not necessarily one of them. Um, I'm not totally sure about that. And, but it does interestingly confirm some of this, this downfill that I've got. So I, I'm, I'm really curious what I've, what I've got going on here. Cause everything else kind of seems like it's on the right track. Uh, gadget built into a ring in the movie A View to a Kill. It's got to be like a spy cam, right? Spy cam. Call from a baby goat would be like, bah. Spy cam. Unripe peach firm. <laughs> Lead into morphic, like... Neomorphic, geomorphic, not totally sure. Uh, objects thrown by the Greeks in the ancient Olympic games are, um, I think this is going to be the plural of discus or disci, which is a super awkward word. And I'm not sure what the crosser here is going to be, but I wish they'd you know figured out a way to make this like disco or discs. Um, maybe this discs, could it be discs? Uo, jima, no. Um, so it is, it is this guy, which is not great. I feel like I might have clued this as like, 
um, the first, you know, the first of a double album in the nineties, you know, disc one, something like that. Uh, this guy just is, mm, uh, and so, hmm. to wrap up in sum, just, just the thing, I don't know. That's like, I, I feel like a thing you'd say in court, but probably nowhere else. Um, uh, this is a really New York Stock Exchange neighborhood. I mean, these all, all feel right. Firm, this guy, and some. Um, I'm really not sure, and it doesn't help that this is my my, uh, my assist clue here. Um, so let's just go back to what was working. Let's go back to these acrosses and see if we can make some progress here. Um, I'd say already this is this is shaping up to be tougher than. Uh, than the Monday puzzle, which is supposed to be the tougher of the of the two. Baseball team once plagued by a goat-related curse. That is the Chicago Cubs, who are no longer plagued by said curse. Explosive letters would be TNT. Fresno to LA is south southeast. Um, Pulitzer winning novelist Shirley Ann. I have I have no idea who Shirley Ann is. Um, so I'm hoping that that'll, that'll get some help on that. Uh, I believe this is the Sago Lily um, in Utah. First name of an E.B. White character who says that a misspelled word is an abomination in the sight of everyone. E.B. White. So that was like Charlotte's Web. Um, I can't say, other than Charlotte, I can't say... A lot of characters in that story come to mind by name. So, um, 1984, Cindy Lauper hit nominated for Song of the Year at the Grammys is, um, hmm, that's interesting. Cindy Lauper hit. I mean, I mostly think of her for Girls Just Want to Have Fun, which is an absolute classic. Um, but let's see what else we got here. 1992 Tim Burton movie with an army of penguins. <clears throat> that is a fantastic movie. Batman Returns, which uh, I think kind of gets short shrift. Like Batman, the, the 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 Batman that this was the sequel to, the Jack Nicholson, uh, Michael Keaton back Batman um, gets a lot of credit, but this sequel is fantastic. This is the one that had Danny DeVito as the penguin. Uh, and it had uh, Christopher Walken as, I think he was like the mayor. Um, and uh, we had Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Really just like awesome, awesome. If you haven't seen Batman Returns, um, it's great. And it's got that same wonderful dark edge that Tim Burton movies have. I mean, just just like the, the one that it's a sequel to, the Michael Keaton. So anyways, um, Batman Returns, good stuff. Pork filled egg roll. <clears throat> that's interesting. I'm, I really don't get where that's going. It's got a question mark. So, I mean, I know it's going to be sort of a misdirection. Um, there is going to be something odd. There's going to be a weird, you know, linguistic twist or some wordplay here. So um, I'll hold off on that. Um, it's interesting that it's kind of stacked with these other two, which are just like, this is the name of a song. This is the name of a movie. Um, and then this is like, who knows what, um, Interesting stack there in the center. <clears throat> Groups of eight would be octets. It could also be octads, uh, which you see sometimes. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but this is Emmett Rakowski in the Lego movie. So I know octets is going to be right there. Um, again, just, you know, we're taking one second just to see if you can do a quick, con quick confirm of that cross. If I hadn't been able to get that, I probably would have just moved on. So. Taylor Joy of 2020's Emma. I I don't I don't know who that person is, and I don't know. I'm, I guess that's probably a movie, but I don't. Um, I'm not familiar with either. A Dutch South African. Not sure about that. People who work from home. Hmm. People who work from home. It's interesting. Control X on a PC is, is that like escape? Uh, I don't think I've, 
oh, I guess that's cut, right? The, use that all the time. <laughs> um, historical NYC subway initials is like, is it IRT or not sure about that. I'll have to come back to that. Go back and forth in a, in a way, um, like sway, maybe sway, go out with C. That feels pretty good. And swallow took line and sinker. It leaves trusts, trusts maybe forever. A feudal lord is a liege. I'm also like, this is ridiculous for someone who does a lot of crowdsourcing puzzles. I'm terrible with eyes, I before E stuff. Um, and I screw up this, I screw those, that combination of letters up all the time. And uh, liege, siege, mm, big, big problem for me. So, um, Go back and forth in a way, like, not sure what that is. Happen next in Sue. Oops. And youth oriented magazine focus on uh, focusing on fashion and politics. Uh, I think this is Teen Vogue, which is actually like a pretty informative and educational magazine. Um, they really, I don't know if it was maybe like 10 years ago, they made a pretty concerted effort to you know, become a, a more responsible voice for teenagers. They do offer fashion advice and everything, but there's a lot of uh, information, helpful information that's um, creating a, you know, a generation of, of more informed citizens, which is awesome. Way to go, Vogue. Pepper and Slaughter, that's Sergeant, Sergeant Pepper and Sergeant Slaughter. Let's just make sure here. Gloomy one, Gloomy Gus, I like that. Hardvark will eat ants for its meal. A home security system brand. Uh, I don't know that, and I, I don't have a home security system. ADT is the only thing I can think of, but uh, one who won't take a side, fence sitter. That's pretty good. I don't know how often you'd say that or hear that in, you know, in, in conversation. Um, but these days, uh, you know, in politics, especially, um, got a lot of fence sitting going on, <laughs> lead into morphic. So I'm, I could be in like real trouble here because, um, I have no idea what this is. NK, NK something. Um, I mean, this is either an M or a B, right? Ma or Ba, uh, which are both pretty common fill um, in the context of a sound a goat makes. Um, and then could this be like echomorphic? Echomorphic? But then what is this? I mean, NK, I mean, I'm, this has to be all of the crossers look right. So. Um, I'm going to assume that NK are initials, right? And that this, um, that this is, you know, an M or a B. Oh, yikes. This is, this is pretty rough. Um, this is going to be the last letter I fill in. And uh, I'm going to hope that things clear up in the meantime. Um, F E B I, like NYSE neighborhood, the Feddy. Um, could it be like two some, no, not two some, in some, as some. Uh, no, let's, let's move on for a minute here. Might or might not be displayed at a candy store. Um, it might or might not be displayed at a candy store. Uh, red something, a drift. Well, drift is probably at C. It may be, okay, so double A batteries for children's toys. So at C feels right here. Um, it might or might not be displayed at a candy store. Rest. Hmm. What one might be welcomed with? Open arms. Act. Could be like a statute. A statute. Uh, Common counting system is base 10. Oh, is it base? Yes. Like, 
like base two is another counting system that this could be, but I think base 10 is, since it's a common counting system, I also could be totally wrong about that. That could be, I could have just made that up. Um, big name in crafting. <clears throat> big name in crafting. Like for a second, I wanted that to be like Joanne, like Joanne Fabrics. Um, but that's not it. Visceral response is uh, of something or other. Prepares for the big game. Prepares for the big game. Thanks. Uh, no joke. Truth. Oh, okay. So E.B. White is Stuart Little. That's what this is. Stuart Little. Is the truth? I don't know. I mean, no joke. Truth could be, but I don't. I don't love it. I don't like it enough to 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 speculate there. Uh, blindfolded foodie event is a taste test. Um, just saw that. I want to say that was maybe in Monday's puzzle as well for Pepsi Challenge. Um, I did see that recently. I, don't, I can't remember if it was the New Yorker puzzle, but uh, to and fro. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Cindy Lauper hit is time after time. I should have had that one. I think that should have been a gimme for me. Um, it might or may not be displayed at a candy store is a rest. Rest. Thanks. Rest. Restraint. It might. Oh, to display restraint because you want to buy everything like a kid in a candy store. That's a nice clue. I like that um, because you're thinking about what sort of a candy display. Is it a giant M&M? &M? No, it's you're going to display restraint. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, now, this just looks like Frau. Um, but it's a name, so I guess it could be something else. A visceral response. Oh, so this is actually gut reaction. So G R A U. Wow. I mean, that's an odd looking name, but I like all these crosses, so I'm going to go with it and hope for the best. Prepare to the big game. Gears up, which means I've got sway wrong. Um, but so it goes back and forth, maybe spar. I think ears up. This must be truth. I mean, right? Ooh, but that's doesn't look like it would be an H, right? Thanks. Uh, literary motifs in Spanish. Uh, oh boy. Obama memoir is, huh, I feel like I should know the name of that, pork-filled egg roll. Hmm, this is definitely harder than, than the Monday puzzle. Um, and I could, I could have a little trouble here. Where is heels for the first time, perhaps? Um, huh. Flat fish is, I want that to be like a, tetch, a tetra, right? Go back and forth. Go back and forth in a way, like a flat fish. A flat fish. Oh, a manta. Manta ray, okay. Uh, people who work from home as umps, umpires, behind the plate, home plate. Prepare for a hot date is preen. Cell phone data is usage. Dance accessories are tutus. Forever is eons. Uh, swallow to find and sinker eats up. Off road ride ATV. So that was good. We got that that corner was pretty easy, and I'm hoping that it's going to help me out. Um, you know, up up in this area where I'm struggling a little bit. 
Uh, this looks like negotiate, right? Go back and forth and away, negotiate, which negotiate. Alfred Home Security based brand is Nest, right? <clears throat> so another tough name here. Um, a bunch of different, really difficult names. Uh, this Growl, this Pete, this whatever this thing is that I can't figure out. Um, some some very tough names. Uh, let's see, so pork filled egg roll. So I still don't even have a sense of like what this is, the way we're going. Oh, so maybe this is Joanne Fabrics, Big Name and Crafting, okay. Um, a pork filled egg roll. So, oh, so omelet is the egg roll part of it, right? Um, truly, okay, so that would make a little more sense. Literary motifs. Um, Taylor Joy of, so it must be like Anya, Anya, uh, and a pork filled egg roll. So, I mean, it's not a sausage omelet, um, pork filled. Dutch South African. These are difficult clues for sure. Uh, well, I had IRT as my initial guess here, so I'm gonna stick that in. Um, Obama memoir. <sighs> Wear his heels for the first time, perhaps. Wear his heels for the first time, perhaps. IRT, LRT. Wears heels for the first time, perhaps. That's a really hot clue. I mean, these are it's really difficult. Um, pork filled egg roll. Okay, so I know that this has to be a vowel, right? I mean, looking both directions, it's clearly a vowel. Um, so could it be an A? Oh, maybe this could be wrong. Emmet, Emmet. Oh, and actually, you know what? Joanne Fabrics is with two N's, that's why. So this is a Western omelet. It's pork filled because it's got ham, right? Um, Obama memoir. What an odd clue. Weird seals for the first time. Wobbles. I'm gonna say wobbles. And stand up straight in heels for the first time. Um, but then historical NYC subway initials. Becoming is okay, so that's the Obama one. Wow. And then B O E R as the Dutch South African. These are some brutal proper noun fill in, in this puzzle. Um, but becoming, okay, so is it a B? Nope. Is it an M? It is not, um, which means I'm in rough shape um, because I have just absolutely no idea what else. I mean, there's so many things, so many names here that could be wrong. Um, I mean, I feel pretty good about Ann's and Skip's and OJ's and Fence Sitter, um, Firm, Echomorphic, Exomorphic, Exomorphic. Um, what else could this be? Could this be something else? This is, this is really tough. Statute, time after time, Batman Returns, Western Omelette, Octets, Anya. Or maybe it could be Anya, Enya, Enya. Uh, Enya, Anya. understand this this literary motifs 
temporary motifs. Taste test, wobbles, BMT, like that really doesn't ring any kinds of bells. Um, this all feels pretty good down here. Batman Returns, what's wrong? Um, I mean, this really feels like Anya, right? Taylor Joy of 2020s, Anya Taylor Joy, right? Um, and Growl, although I don't love Growl, it does seem to be confirmed there. First author to win a Hugo Award for every book in a trilogy. I mean, so this has to be a pretty famous author, but um, just no, no, not ringing any bells at all. Um, NK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Lead into morphic. Lead into morphic. Anthropomorphic. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm. I think I've reached a stalemate here. I. Uh, I don't know what I've got wrong, and I. I'm going to check. So it was here. So what could it be then? Lead into morphic. So what, let's, let's think about this name. So I know that it's NK Demison isomorphic. Hmm, interesting. Isomorphic. This is just brutal. I mean, you've got a pretty well-known name, Diana Ross, stacked with a, a, not a very well-known name. I, I, I'm gonna. I'm comfortable saying that N.K. Jemison is not a household name, uh, and then stacked with F.I.B.I. I can't. Oh, the financial district. Uh, I've never heard, I've never, I mean, financial district is very common, but F-I-D-I, I've never heard anyone refer to that. I've never seen it in print. And then crossing isomorphic, I don't really know what isomorphic means, um, but I know that I've never said it and I'm likely to never say it. Uh, Overall, there's some good stuff here. Uh, I did really like this, this center stack time after time. Batman Returns, Western Omelet. Those are really nice. Um, the other long fill, Fence Sitter and Gut Reaction. Those are really good too. Um, th this corner I like, Negotiate, Teen Vogue, um, Data Usage. You know, there's a lot of good stuff that feels relevant. Um, taste test, becoming Obama. Wobbles is pretty tough, I'm going to say, uh, especially with the BMT here, which I've been in New York a million times and ridden the subway a million times, and I never heard of a BMT. Um, uh, but this is just, I mean, this is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, N.K. Jemison with F-I-D-I. Uh, yeah, really tough. And um, it's really a bummer that I wasn't able to grind that out the truth is I'm not sure, I don't know, I would have probably had to come back to this for a while and, um, you know, in a while and uh, re-examine and hope that with fresh eyes, it, something popped out of me, but th this was really difficult and um, certainly much harder than than the, uh, the Monday submission. Um, nice puzzle all in all from Amy Lucido, whose name I've seen a bunch of times here. Um, apparently she is a software, oh geez, a software engineer who has worked at Uber, Facebook, and Google, and is the author of the novel Emmy in the Key of Code. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder what that's about. Um, anyways, thanks for joining me today. Um, hope you stuck it out and uh, 
didn't mind the slog too much. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.